All right, so, so far we have looked at the command center in uh, MicroWorlds, and we saw how that is more or less equivalent to the Python shell in idle, right? We can execute Python um, instructions in the Python shell at the, at the prompt here, and we can execute logo instructions at the, in the command center. We saw the, um, how in the procedures tab, we, we write our, where we write our procedures in micro worlds, that the equivalent to that in Python is the um, is the the files that you write, and um, that you have to you save those separately on your own. You edit those and save them. That they end with a, a dot .py, and that you can um, make those known to Python by um, with this run module business. Okay. Um, so now let's see um, how we make that make action happen in the main window, right? That's that's really what we need for our games. Let me get rid of this for a second. So what we want to see is something like this, right? That we can we know in micro worlds we can just pop a turtle in there and click on him and say animate and bam he starts going right so what's the equivalent of that in the um, Python world well, let's take a look here um, now in Python there's um, uh, in, in Python programming um, the environment that we're going to use you're really getting under the hood a lot more, which means there's a lot more coding involved, but you have um, a lot more flexibility as far as, um, you, know, you have a lot more control, let's say. Um, fortunately, there's somebody who did a whole lot of work um, on coding. There, there's a whole lot of code that's already built that you can reuse. And one piece that we're going to make use of is um, by this from, from this book here, Game Programming, the Express Line to Learning. Um, so I'm going to just show you this piece of code. Okay, now this looks like a teeny tiny piece of code, but there's a whole lot of work behind this. Um, and we'll we'll talk in other other um, videos about how how to get to it and and uh, how to use it. But I just want to illustrate for right now, so you see that there there is a way of doing more or less what we we do when we do an animate in in micro worlds. So this is a a simple it's called simple GE for game engine. Example of the simplest possible game engine program. And you don't have to understand the details of this stuff right now. We're going to go over that in a little bit. But basically what's going to happen is when I say, um, when, I, when I execute this, it's going to um, um, do something uh, that I think you're going to like. So here, so but the way we're going to execute this one is we're going to do it from a terminal window, okay? I'm using iTerm. We'll be using iTerm or Terminal, something like that. And what you need to do to make this work is you, you bring up your uh, terminal window and then you bring up uh, a finder window that has the uh, game engine. Or you, you pull up the game engine folder and I'm going to grab... Well, before I do that, actually, I'm going to type in the command Python because this is a Python program so to execute it I have to type in the um, instruction Python into the terminal and um, when I'm going to execute I'm going to drag simple GE over here okay so now it's uh, uh, saying Python and it's going to execute this file simple GE so it's 
So it's executing this file right here. Okay. So I'm going to hit return and let's see what happens. Whoa. Okay, so now we have a Pi game window. We're going to be talking about Pi game quite a bit in this course, but I just wanted to show you that um, there is a way to get stuff going, and it's going to we're going to have to do a lot of talking again about um, you know all the programming behind it. But um, you saw that this was a pretty simple file so we'll we'll figure out how to build this and and this is going to be our basic building block for building lots of um cool games but that's that's the overview so now you guys know what the equivalent is in python of the command center that's the python shell the um procedures tab is your, the editor that you get in idle where you write your code and you have something that ends with .py and your main window which is uh, this um, Pygame window uh, where all your actions gonna happen so now we're ready to start um, looking at uh, at the details so you guys can start building these things yourselves